What's up, beer bros? Uh, Christian here from Books and Brewskies. Uh, it's our second week out here on the uh, the, the beer, beer couch. couch. The beer couch. <laughs> That's what we like to call it. Um, anyhow, new beer this week. Uh, I kind of just randomly put this one up. I thought I had a cool can. Saw it was from um, Iceland. Right. So we're having, and I don't know how to say this because it's in, it's. I'm stock. So yeah, it is. It's it's like Icelandic hiking. Icelandic white ale. Um, I'll tell you right now, I'm a big fan of the Icelandic CrossFit women. Pretty hot. <laughs> big big fan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're having an Icelandic white ale. Um, this, th can't sick. this one obviously it's from Iceland. Um, its key ingredients are wheat malt, uh, pilsner malt, oats, Bavarian noble hops, coriander, and orange peel. Um, and on the can it says ale brewed with coriander and orange orange peel. Um, so we're definitely going to have some orange flavor to it. Um, they have a writing on here. It says, our quest was simple. We wanted to make the best white ale we ever tasted. We got there with the complex flavors of the classic, what does that say? Whitbeer. 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 <laughs> including orange peel and coriander. Cor coriander. <laughs> coriander. <laughs> coriander. <laughs> All brewed with pure Icelandic water and a touch of oats that deliver a Should cool smoothness that is uniquely flavorful and refreshing, refreshingly drinkable. Oh shoot, that was hard. <laughs> that was a lot. Anyhow, um, on top of that, this is available in cans, bottles, and um, kegs. Uh, it's food pairing, the food pairings, you're messing my words up. Uh, food pairings, the crisp, citrus, and spice notes are the perfect complement to seafood, poultry, vegetarian dishes, Asian food, spicy food, including Mexican, tapas, Indian, and Thai. So basically everything this beer goes with. Um, it's kind of yes. like, it's kind of like a nice crisp Coors Light. Um, tasty notes, clean and crisp part with a smooth mouth feel, thanks to the oats, citrus, and spice round out to a refreshing finish. Um, oh, so yeah. Shane's already kind of cracked his open. That's the coal. That's the Icelandic coal. No, it's not. Is Iceland where Vikings came from? Don't ask me. I don't know history. So my first taste of it. There's a little bit of I IPA, like a little Icelandic going on. It says it's brewed with Icelandic water. Like we got Coors Light here in Colorado with Rocky Mountain cold water. They have Icelandic water. Anyhow, it foamy. It's not. It's not bad. It's really good actually. I like this beer a lot. It's kind of bitter, so it does have a little bit of IPA taste to it at start, but there's definitely some orange peel in there. Mm -hmm. I taste a lot of the orange peel. It's very foamy. Shane likes it for me. But no, no, so I think it is good. I think I overall like, it's really good. I like it. Um, I'm going to rate it a 4.3 to 4.4. We'll go 4.4. We'll go even numbers here. Very smooth. Doubles of the same. Super smooth. Um, it's not overbearing. Nothing overbear like is overbearing in it. It's very smooth. Easy to drink. Uh, the taste is strong. Taste is good. Yeah. So that's my thoughts. 4.4 from Christian. Shane's going to say like 3.4. I'm going to say 3.6 for me. I don't know what that rounds out to. I'm not good at math. So. Uh, what is that? Like a 3.9? Or no, no, that's a 4. That is a 4. 4.0. Oh, oh, four oh. <laughs> We're having a hard time today. That is good though. Numbers, words. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, right, thanks, thanks for watching. Um, again, this is the Einstock Icelandic White Ale. Um, we'll have our review up on our website, booksandbrewskies.com. We'll have it up on YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube, if not Instagram. Um, yeah. Give us a subscribe. Hit us with a follow. We also have Twitter now. So mm -hmm. check us out. Cheers.